So I don't want to threaten. Is this your JCPenney's high school yearbook photo that's happening here? Or? <laughs> yeah, the, the poetry slam is tomorrow. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Jeff's afraid of collars and things that look reasonable. The Real Alternative, 1027 WEQX, Manchester, Albany. Here you go. All right. The goal and mission of this radio station was thought up, dreamt, and built by uh, the guy who built this radio station, Brooks Brown. And uh, when he passed away a few years ago, I, I took his, his eyeglasses and put them on my desk because I wanted to just be reminded that he certainly had a vision for this radio station. And that was always to remain fiercely independent and to uh, fight the corporate world as, as heartily as possible. The Real Alternative is a long-standing institution. Radio station that is like no other, gives people a different choice. And the station has stayed independent since the fall of 1984. Primarily, it has to be traced to one man, Brooks Brown who started the radio station, a rare combination of the engineering smarts and the business smarts that it takes to build a radio station in that era, remained independent, especially in an era where a lot of radio stations were cashing in in the late 90s, and Brooks was not interested in that. And so in doing that, uh, our mission is just to to be creative, to be independent, and to work as hard as possible to make those two things combine into a, a great radio product. This is Brooks. He owns the place. He doesn't look old enough to own a big place like this, but he is. He's from Texas. That's why we have a big picture of Stevie Ray Vaughan over there. We taught him everything he knows. WQX is unique in that it's been able to sustain itself uh, and be independent in that environment, primarily from my perspective because they haven't been reliant on national advertising and that they have a unique uh, uh, niche within the marketplace. A lot of the current larger companies have five, six, seven properties all in one. And when you have just one station one topic to look at, that is where it starts. Everything we do here is about EQX. It is not about a second station or a third station. The feel of this radio station is obvious once you walk through the door. It starts with the fact that it is a house. That's been added on to many times, but it is a house. It is in a very uh, uh, beautiful, secluded part of Southern Vermont. How old is this building? I'm pretty sure I know how old this building is, but you're gonna hear different stories. Yeah, I like to say it's about 200 years old because it looks like it. Well, it's just inaccurate. He's just making things up. I'm gonna say this house is somewhere between 200 years old and uh, 10 years old from when I actually know it was here when I walked through the door for the first time. I think if you ask Keller, he actually is smart enough to do the research or whatever. We've seen the town records. It stops in the early 1900s. It's not 200 years old. The house is old, yet to be determined exactly how old. But Ziggy the house cat. It was a rescue cat. And Ziggy came to the radio station at the same time that uh, the world was losing some of the greatest musicians of all time. OK, Ziggy. <laughs> so Ziggy's full name is Prince Ziggy Kilmeister. And Ziggy just runs around this radio station crying and crying and crying if Mimi's not here because Ziggy is attached to Mimi. You know, we all are kind of that way with her because of what a phenomenal cook she is, what a great house mom she is. When I come in, I open the fridge and I look for a big dish 
covered in tin foil because I hope Mimi has made lunch. And usually once a week we see something like that. And again, you're talking about the station owner makes us lunch. Because again, that's just part of who she is and it's just part of what happens here. And Mimi is a trusting individual too. I think she, she's quiet, she quietly keeps an eye on things, but I think she just really believes in what our vision is. And she knows that we try our best to keep it true to what Brooks wanted too. Good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday. It is the 7th of March, 2018. Snow this morning, gonna continue through the afternoon. More than 300 schools are closed already. Some are open, but getting out early. You can check weqx.com for the complete list of school closures and delays and early releases. Let's get a first caller of the day. 802-362-1027 is the number. The main difference between working at a corporate radio station and here at EQX, an independent radio station, is the ability to get things done quickly. You don't have to run things up the corporate ladder and wait for an answer to come back. I can literally run down the stairs to the owner Mimi's office and say, you cool with this? And she'll say yes, and, and we get it done. If they love something, instantly they put it on the air. It can be that quick. They get it in an email, they're like, oh my God, we love this, and it can be on the air five minutes later. EQX is just a free flowing thing. Whatever they want to do, they can do. It's really cool. Whereas, uh, based on my knowledge and experience with corporate radio stations, you need to have meetings about it. You need to see research numbers on things. It's just, it's too overthought and takes too much time. I think the record company reps who work with all these bands from all over the country love that too because they know if EQX gets behind it, not only will we do it and play it, but it can also influence perhaps the perception of other stations that might be on the fence and it builds a momentum for them. So we are one positive piece of that puzzle that builds momentum for artists. I was working at EQX full-time. I was there for a handful of years, and one of my favorite new bands that I discovered last year was Middle Kids. Now I actually work on the other side of radio, trying to get songs on the radio, working for the bands. Um, so EQX is just a huge supporter of them, and they had an off day doing some stuff down in the city, some TV stuff, and I was like, if you have an off day, you know, EQX has been a big supporter. Can you make the little trek up? And they were down to do it. Please, a warm welcome to our good new friends, Middle Kids. I think the big problem with large corporations owning hundreds and hundreds of radio stations is there's no competition. Uh, competition breeds creativity and makes you strive to be better. I, I think there are markets where a corporation owns every single radio station in that market and so what is the incentive to do better? Radio stations were gobbled up by these bigger corporations, and interestingly enough, now we start seeing more of this syndication top down again, where companies like iHeart Media originate programming out of centralized locations and then their local market affiliates distribute those programs. So it's much less locally or oriented nowadays than it was 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. We all wear many, many hats, and so that means that we don't have a big payroll that needs to be filled. I also think the, the second part to why we can remain independent is because nobody here gets paid 
enough money to own a second, third, or fourth home like a lot of corporations might have those those big salaries. We all do it. Our, our paycheck is the passion that's filled. So we start today with brand new music from Churches. They've made it into the number five slot. This is Get Out. Talked ourselves to death. Never say what I wanted. It's tough to explain the style of music that we play because we try and be, and this some some people would think this is a bad term, but we try to be all over the road. We try and play some pop leaning music, some jam leaning music, some straight up electronic music, uh, some banjo stuff. If it's interesting, we want to play it. Right now, music from a gentleman who you'll see at the Palace Theater on June 11th. It's Vance Joy. I met someone out on the West Coast. Part of the power of EQX is the literal power, and that is the size of the transmitter, where it's located on top of Mount Equinox. It's amazing. It's this giant tower, unobstructed. It's about a half a mile above sea level and an radiating power of, uh, of 50,000 watts, which reaches four states. New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, and part of New Hampshire as well. Matt, I'll tell you what, you brought up an Emmy. I'm going yeah. to research it more. WEQX listeners probably wouldn't describe themselves this way, but I think that they in some ways think of themselves as a family of shared values and attitudes that's reflected by the music taste. Uh, and that has helped uh, EQX to uh, win to be various awards to be voted the most popular radio station in the Albany market uh, over the decades. They've been a strong supporter of local music here even to this day and they have been a great conciliary of mine when I am seeking local talent. EQX has always found local music to be the core of what we do and Fanagram is the biggest example that I can think of uh, in that coming up through the ranks type of thing. Phanagram is this amazing story about these two who were both from Greenwich. I think they used to be called Charlie Everywhere. And um, then they, they moved on and they became Phanagram and we started playing them. We recorded a few songs and kind of released a little uh, like demo. a three song demo where we would hand out to people in the streets and stuff um, and we sent it to EQX. EQ Exposure, one of the only places for area bands to get their shot on the radio. And they played us on the Sunday night EQ exposure. It was the most exciting thing yeah. for us. We were just like, remember oh we were God. like, turn on the radio. Yeah, we didn't play them because they were from Greenwich. We played them because they were awesome. You know that song, like Mouthful of Diamonds, was such an amazing song. When I first heard it, I, I couldn't believe it. EQX's um, role in growing Fantagram is without question the, you know, a catalyst that got them signed. They really were the ones that kicked them into a gear that turned national. It's been amazing to, to watch Fantagram go from Charlie Everywhere to Fantagram to hearing one of their Fanagram songs in a Gillette commercial to seeing that Sarah is in a relationship with world-class Olympic gold medal snowboarder Sean White and seeing her you know uh, on NBC during the Olympics and things of that nature it is it's so much fun and so rewarding and, and inspiring uh, to keep you wanting to support local music when you see a little band from the farm town of Greenwich New York grow up to be you know this 
LA star-studded awesomeness. Can, I, can you just turn up the high end again on everything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, more of my guitar, please, for myself. Yeah, my ears are a little bit too loud. This space that we're sitting in right now, we, we call Studio BB, and that is uh, for Brooks Brown. We cleared out an old, essentially like an old cubicle farm that was just really doing nothing at the point. Cleared it out, and now we have bands that tore through, set up, full set up, fully engineered. The recording sounds great. We catch them on film. We started booking some nice, notable bands. And then once you have that groundwork, I think it's very easy, you know, to get uh, a band to come in when you say, because Weezer recently played in here, Portugal the Man. And, and so it's very easy. To, they're like, well, I don't know if we want to make the drive. It's like, oh, really? Weezer did. You sure? Ask me, which you did, and if you were to ask any one of the listeners who has listened to this place, they, they would they would admit it's priceless. When when I travel or other people travel to other cities, you you dial around, try and find a radio station, and and you realize EQX is something special. There's nothing like it. WEQX radio show. Hip, hip. 1027 EQX, still independent.